So I'm just going to take you guys with me throughout my day, and I'm going to try to start doing these daily. I don't know how it's going to work out, but we'll just see where it goes from here. so weird going back watching a montage like that seeing how young I was when I first started daily vlogging and it it's weird because as you grow up you don't feel yourself getting old in a sense and the reason I'm making this montage filming this and talking about this now is I just turned 24 yesterday as of filming this Yesterday was my 24th birthday. I started vlogging when I was 15, started making YouTube videos when I was 10 or 11. So I've been making a lot of stuff over the years, over the near past decade. And going back and watching that montage, going back and editing that and seeing all the footage from 2012, 2013, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and now 20, it is just so crazy to see how much truly happens in life in eight years. How much can be documented and how many good times I've had. It's so fun going back and watching the videos from Olympic trials in 2012 when I had just turned 16 years old. Or my first World Cup in 2014 in China. Or the Olympics in 2016. Or getting married in 2017. In 2012, I was a kid filming things 15 years old, documenting things I liked, things I thought were fun at the time, and was documenting my diving journey, hoping to go to an Olympics, which I then did accomplish. And while I have kept up a little bit with documenting and filming and making vlogs from 2016 until 2020, it was really consistent from 2012 to 2016. It was every day for 735 days at one point. And then after 2016, it got inconsistent. Life got really busy, life got hectic, but I was still able to film some stuff. Especially over the past year, I really haven't filmed much. Between my foot surgeries and just a lot of personal stuff I was going through, I just really didn't have a desire to film. But now looking back, I really do miss Filming. I miss documenting. I miss having this interaction with you guys on YouTube. So this montage in this video is me saying I'm back. You might be asking, is this an everyday thing? And my answer is no. Just realistically, I'm training for an Olympics that has now been pushed back a year. I have a full-time job as a videographer. I'm a husband, I got two dogs. I got a lot going on. So I realistically can't do this every day. But that doesn't mean I can't do it, you know, a few times a week. Over the past few weeks, I've just been writing down different topics that have come into my mind of 
things I want to talk about in videos and videos I want to create, things that I feel like would be a creative outlet for me, and that's what I want to do. I want to make YouTube a creative outlet again. And I thought, now with the Olympics pushed back an entire year, you know, I can really document this Olympic journey again. I've changed a lot since 2012. I was 15, I'm now 24. And I'm gonna change a lot again in the next year, two years, three years, and so on. And I wanna see that change. I wanna be able to make these videos, go back, watch them, and witness that change, and see how I've grown. And this is something I'm excited about. So here we go. Journey to Tokyo 2021. Journey into my mid-20s. Journey into growth. That's what this is about. Creative outlet, an opportunity for me to make videos on topics that I just find interesting or I'm passionate about. And I know when I'm 30, I'm gonna be so thankful for filming what I'm gonna be filming in my mid-20s. Because in my mid-20s, I'm so thankful I filmed what I filmed in my mid-teens. But piece by piece, I'm just gonna be filming more, documenting more, talking about topics more, because I'm interested in it, and I'm so thankful I did it when I was younger and I wanna start doing it again. I'm excited. I think it's gonna be cool. Um, I've got some ideas, and I'm just really gonna try to hold myself accountable to pumping out some of these videos, because I enjoy making them. Just be sure to subscribe and like the videos and leave comments because I'm going to be reading them on here as well. So I will see you guys in the next video, which I'm planning on filming tomorrow. So I'll see you guys next time.